Good evening folks, welcome on this Tuesday evening stream. We are still playing Wasteland 2. Um, we, uh, when we ended the stream yesterday, we were uh, just to receive the message from the team that went to LA, uh, that we got the radio message from. Uh, they went to investigate and set up a base there. Um, we're still in Arizona at the moment. Um, but we are going to clear our inventory, uh, stock up on supplies, and then we'll head over to LA as well. Uh, just before we start, I want to make sure my sound's working. Which it is. Um, I just noticed the pr pretty awesome, <laughs> the tech of streaming, right? That there's a service that basically takes my stream, or any st anyone's stream, takes it to the servers and basically shards it out to anyone that's interested. How quickly that happens, that I'm in my browser, I'm on a stream, on my iPad I'm on a stream, that it went to the servers, they process it and they give me a live stream on a, a different device. That is pretty awesome. The tech man, like just the magic that happens. It's a uh, techni magic. Um, okay, uh, we are still in Ranger Citadel. We just have to stock up on our supplies and make sure our inventory is clear. Nobody's overloaded. I thought um, part of the message that we got from LA was Angela Depp seemed to have crashed, got shot down or something. So I'm not sure we're gonna have her anymore. So I might sell the stuff that she's been holding uh, or that we've been holding for her hoping to get her back i'm not sure we're gonna get her back and if we do we'll have to uh that should work we'll have to just uh oh good to see you echo you disarmed a nuclear bomb is that right what an achievement i don't think i could have done such a thing yes huh? that's better okay. welcome back echo Guess you might be looking for some gear for your mission to L.A. I put aside an extra requisition for you. The General didn't order it, but I'm guessing he wants you geared up to the best of the Desert Ranger's ability before you go over the hill. Sure. How about uh, any interest in this portable video game system? It's broken, but it's pretty cool looking. Huh. If only I could turn cool straight into new tech. <gasps> but I'm still intrigued. I'll take a look. Thanks. What have you got first? Some very nice pieces. Let's see. I pulled out some of my best work for you. Based on what we've seen, well, heard, you're gonna need it in SoCal. I took a few of the microchips out of that portable video game system. Couldn't turn them into anything immediately useful, but I learned quite a bit. Still worth letting you look at some of my other gear. She's also got an energy weapon. Two requisitions. Okay, I on a blaster. Ooh, no, let me check this out. So, it is Kate. Uh, not, not sure this is better than the Whopper. 10.6, I think. The Lariat. One damage. What does this do? <laughs> 12 gauge ammo. 100% to apply, all tied up. Mm, so it's like a capture thing rather than a... Um, damage thing, that's interesting. The Roach. Mobile Infantry Armor. Ooh, seven. Minus zero point six combat speed. Interesting. Ooh, shoe model ranger combat knife. Seventy percent chance to apply opened up. The machine gun. The machine gun. Bad attitude. Low rocket. Iron blaster. Point six. Yeah, I think my uh, energy weapon is 11 point something. That is a single shot. And it's also 4 AP. 
So you can get two. I've got a better shotgun. This is interesting, but I don't think I'm going to use it. I might take this. And five armor. Let's uh, take this one anyway. The Lariat is a custom piece. It'll take a little extra time to get her special payload prepped and ready to fire. Go through your scrap and pick out some lengths of string and wire. Just the useless bits, of course. Then load them in right here, see? Then slide the ammo in here. Awkward, I know, but trust me. When you're ready, twist this thing here until you smell burnt hair. But seriously, and this is important, don't keep breathing it in, okay? <laughs> then aim and shoot like normal, but be really quick about it, again, because of the smell. What comes out the barrel should fire mostly straight, and once you get the hang of it, it'll tangle up whatever it hits pretty good. Once more, cadet, because I can't stress enough, don't let the smell get into your eyes or lungs. Looks like you're out of requisitions, rangers. Remember, it's just one item per wreck. I'll let you know when I've got more for you. Okay. Bye. Thanks for visiting, recruits. That's interesting. Come by any time. So we want the seven armor. And can we get this? So this guy's already got five armor. This one doesn't have the strength for five armor. Yeah, strength is three. Strength three. Strength four. So he can wear strong armor. Four armor. I didn't like slaying combat speed. But armor is pretty important. Uh, character strength? No strength. Okay. Three percent crit chance. Give this guy crit chance or one. Chance to hit 29% crit chance. 29. 98% chance to hit. Ooh. I think this guy's got the, the skill to take this off under barrel. This is on the main one. That's mod. Yeah, 98 percentage chance. It's 94. Sweet. Um, and this we can sell now. Okay, I'm gonna sell this. Uh, let's strip it parts. The new. Ah, nope. Move it over there. Drop it. Strip the box. Strip the box. Strip the tape. Junk. Okay. Just to confirm. Oh, we need 7.62. Yeah, let's get some 7.62 ammo. 5.56. Who uses 5.56? My salt ones? Ah, uh, yeah, we've been holding on to 5.56 for other beeps. Outdoorsman. Safe cracking lock picking, so we can put one in each of those and then use that to get the extra beer. 
Okay, he's got the 30 cal. And maybe a bit more 30 cal. Yeah, so this is if we run out of the 762, we can also use the 556. Because these two use different ammo. So yeah, this one, 41 to 52. Yeah, 11.6 damage per AP in the weapon. This range is now 13. And blunt weapons. 15 damage per AP. Ooh, so if we get the really close, I forget about this. 4 AP and 4 AP. So this one actually does a lot more damage. 60% each chance though. 83. Okay. Twelve gauge. Ammo. Is it now 12 gauge? Yeah, 4 available. Let's give it to our shotgun our lady. Assault rifles. Ah, so this is now assault rifles that uses 12 gauge. Yeah. The chance to hit it. Hold on. 28% chance to hit. I might have to give it to Kate. I was thinking because it uses 12 gauges as a shotgun, but it's an assault rifle. Yeah, 71% chance. It's quite heavy as well at 8 pounds. Okay. Give it to her. Daniel, why are you so heavy? Twenty four of ninety three. Now that sell and sell. All of these nine pounds and six pounds, one pound. Do these effects anti venom? For those Four pounds ammo. Yep. Making sure everyone's secondaries are loaded as well. Mm. Okay, I'm not sure what I can... Ah, oh, we can sell this. She, with her instructions she made it sound like you're going to use weapon parts. That's what I got from her instructions on how to use that. Now we can pop. Makings! Well. Um, so this, this, this. This and this. And... 80 pounds. Um, like leather pants. Why do we have still the, still have the basket? I thought that's uh, what we showed to prove that the girl was dead. 
factory and one there. Um, I want to make sure we've got ammo. Just check if there's any good stuff caught in between. Got super upgrades or anything. Pie bombs. Open check. <laughs> All the junk we ever sold him. Uh, okay. So we want seven six two for a rose. Uh, give us probably. Thing is, it also weighs uh, quite a bit. Ah, so the pounds is maximum carry weight. Yeah, so rose is at the limit. Oh. What can we give to someone else? Two pounds, seventeen pounds, eighteen pounds. <laughs> she just carries around the heavy weapons all in a day's work. Right, give on that to someone. Daniel. Daniel. This house. Okay. Slightly better, not not ideal yet. Let's check. Anything we want to put away. Snake screen. <laughs> put that away. Beer. Smokes. Never use the diamond back key. Beer. More beer. Oh, Sarah's locket. We we're supposed to um, give it to somebody in the Monta. Hmm. Animal Whisper, Computer Science. Minus Charisma. Oh, that one. Okay, can install the con used condom. Oh, radioactive mushroom. Yeah, I think that one we actually. Uh, would have lost somewhere. Um, outdoorsman. Excuse me. Okay. I think that is it. Let me save. And do a proper save. Riding on this one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so our log says head back to Rangers for new assignment unless we hit a detour. We are headed to LA. We can gather up to 10 team members to bring with us. Then we're flying out on the last chopper to the City of Angels. Up to 10. We've got six. <laughs> it is small. How about the. Ah, six plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten followers. <laughs> um, and do we need to speak to the? Not there. I think it's just uh, over here, actually, somewhere. And I think this is part two of the game. It's about fifty-fifty or so. So we're about fifty percent through, I think. The different map, Sergeant Bell. Door, you've seen me like it. General Vargas. About time, Rangers. Ready to fly? Yes, sir. And get on board and make the Desert Rangers proud.
Get in everyone. Little green alien, come with us, green. My terror. <laughs> Goats, dogs. Oh, they're coming with us. <laughs> I hope. A chop. And we, yeah, we've been walking around everywhere. And we had this chopper in this room all the time. Leaving a ranger citadel. As the helicopter rises above the ranger citadel, Team Echo doesn't know if they're going to Los Angeles to assist Team Foxtrot or to avenge them, or what sort of enemy awaits them there. The voices on the radio were ominous and confusing, speaking of blood and bayonet, a golden future and the end of days, the perfection of man and the destruction of the desert rangers. Are these words proof of credible threats or just the ravings of madmen? And that one of these madmen shoot down Team Foxtrot's chopper? Or was it some other dangerous aggressor as yet unknown? Flying over the waste. Of more immediate concern is whether Team Echo will reach Los Angeles at all. The chopper has just enough fuel for the trip, as long as weather conditions are perfect. Unfortunately, they are not. Toxic rain, cyclone winds and thick fog force Team Echo to reroute again and again. Nor is nature the only threat. More than once on that long journey, they are shot at from the ground. Proof that more humans had survived the apocalypse than they had previously thought. And sadly also proved that man's first instinct on meeting his fellow man was still to shoot first and ask questions later. Arriving in Los Angeles. Finally, after an endless night, the sun rises revealing the steaming green swamp of Los Angeles below them. And their radio is suddenly crowded to a strange transmission. And crackling through them, a mayday from Tegan Foxtrot, their position is being overrun by savage beasts. Team Echo races to their aid, but just as they have a visual on the ranger camp, the chopper's engine stutters and dies. The fuel is gone. They are going down. Oh, certain items can increase the ranger's scanning capacity and canteen time. Oh man, we were so close to rescuing Team Foxtrot. Oh, and a promotion. Scroll, scroll, no response. Oh, no. Okay, everyone, load. A big save. Santa Fe Springs. Start of LA chapter. Crash site. Adrian and Gordon. Ah, this is our crash site, not the other one. Get out of there! What are you doing? <laughs> um, okay, we are on fire for 90 seconds. Burn! It burns! This is the idiot that told you to go into the fire. Jeez. Did you know better by now? Okay. Yeah, we, we do, but... No, we're not the smartest people in, in the rangers <laughs> just gonna run around for a bit as the dust clears you realize that you've landed in the middle of a dogfight literally a ranger captain stands in the center of a makeshift compound the torn and shredded makeshift compound Torn and shredded remnants of his team all around him with massive mutant dogs attacking from all sides. Who is this guy? Ah, so it m might have been forcing us to go through there. As in, we have to. Have to. If we can. Come on, guys, come on. No, we can't. Ah. Everything else. So we can go through there, but we stop on the fire. Okay, so we lost the burn. Uh, was it Gordon? A, a ranger captain. I don't see dogs though. Maybe I'm mistaken. Hmm. 
Maybe I have to run around to get him. No time for introductions, Echo One. Dave. Stop staring and start blasting. These dogs have got us by the balls. Ah. Okay. Encounter begins. Okay. Nuke pooch. <laughs> wow, that's a mean butt. Okay, um and honey badgers two two five. Five armor. Ooh. Yeah. Crouch. And turn. Okay. Armor. Down. Come on. And turn. Crouch. Or another shot. Another shot. In the sixteen, let me take this one six armor, five armor, and a miss. Wow, what the dogs? <laughs> Nuke pooches. It's my turn. Ooh, a big belly. Oh, we've got our own dogs. <laughs> okay, um. Twenty nine to thirty four times six. We haven't lowered any armor. I'm not sure how much damage he does on 5 armor though. Oh, not enough. Concussion. <laughs> okay. okay. And... Ooh. Oof. I'm gonna do three of them. I'm gonna destroy our cover. Uh, but it's probably three kills. I like a dog. Yeah. Dogs. <laughs> I like a dog. Dog. Okay. Our dogs does two damage. <laughs> Wait a minute. Rose got animal whisperer. Maybe you can turn one of them. New kapooch. Um so who who's up next? Where's Rose? Ah, uh, Rose low down the list. Let's lay these guys down. Um Initial mobility and chance to knock them down. And miss. Just remembering that we don't keep people we um Robots or pets we convert in battle, so it's probably not worth saving them. Jesse. Damaged hide. So from 5 to 3 armor. Can we do it on this one too? Damaged hide. From 6 to 4. Okay. 